I am Christina Georgi and I welcome you to my channel. Today's topic for discussion is an introduction to literary criticism. So what is criticism? Before that, let's have a look at the origin of this term criticism. The word criticism is derived from the Greek word kritis. Do you know what kritis in Greek means? It means to judge. Remember, criticism does not mean criticizing something. Instead, it means critiquing something which involves analyzing and evaluating. Criticism is therefore an activity that attempts to study, interpret, analyze and evaluate works of art. Now, let's have a look at how criticism applies to literature. The term literature refers to any written printed matter on any subject. Literary criticism is simply the interpretation of a text as it tries to explain the literary work by applying literary or critical theory to a text. We'll discuss what literary theories are later. Before that, in literature there are two kinds of criticisms. Let's have a look at the first category. Poets and writers can talk about poetry and literature in general. An example would be Aristotle. Aristotle in his Poetics speaks about literature in general. We have already discussed some aspects of Aristotle's Poetics in our previous videos. The other category would be writers very often talk about some specific books. Do you know who this is? This is Matthew Arnold. So he in his study of poetry has mentioned the touchstone method. By the touchstone method, he has analyzed the passages of a few poets that could be used as yardsticks for future reference, especially to judge other poetry. Moving on to the history of literary criticism. While tracing the history of literary criticism, we come to the realization that it had been there ever since the classical period. During the classical period, we had Plato and Aristotle. Then came Horace and Longinus during the Roman era. Later came the English period where we had Philip Sidney and the Enlightenment critiques such as Immanuel Kant. Then came the Romantic critiques Wordsworth and Coleridge. Later, the Victorian critiques such as Matthew Arnold and finally came the modern era where we had critiques like T.S. Eliot. Remember, it is during the Victorian era that criticism reached its peak. Later came the modern era and it is then that literary theory came into prominence. To a greater extent, we could say that literary theory has developed from literary criticism itself. We will discuss more on literary theory in my upcoming video. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. We will meet again soon. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.